title of the, our exhibition is the Far Game Constraint Sparking Creativity. FAR is basically flow area ratio. And the far game means endeavor to maximize flow areas as much as you can given certain circumstance. So why the FAR game is the front line of architecture battle in Korea? It's because almost all architects in Korea has to play this game to get the commissions. The FAR game is basically the game of the quantity to maximize flow areas. But our question is, can we turn this quantity game to the quality game from private interest sort of long-term public benefits? Through 36 projects, we tried to see what kinds of design tactics and strategies was used to overcome this quantity game. This is four diagrams here. And the first diagram shows the flood and the building regulations and sort of this hypothetical maximum volumes. But architects came up this scheme first, considering building typologies and the floor plans, etc. But as you see, there's certain space and volume is still allowable within the, uh, the building regulations. So then architects try to maximize certain portions like balconies, ethics, and then make a certain extra space considering all the compositional and aesthetic issues. So that's how we came up this one. Still, it's illegal because that whole volume was within the regulations. So that you can see the difference between these two buildings. From the perspective of landowners, they get extra space, which means extra rent, so economic benefits. So, and what's the benefit for the users? Well, they have a, a more intriguing interior space. And from the outside, I, I think the landscape, street landscape is more intriguing. So the most interesting thing is that this game, uh, the far game was quite apparent in the medium-sized building in Seoul today, particularly after 2010, after global economic crisis. Before that, this whole this medium-sized building market was done by non-professional designers, like local builders and contractors. But the architects begin to come to these areas. And they slowly change these, the buildings one by one. So I think that this is kind of potential for a different the form of urban regeneration in South Korea.